Hi everyone, it's Joy from the blog ArtfulHomemaking.com. Today we're going to be making our own homemade natural toothpaste. And the basis for this recipe is coconut oil, essential oils, baking soda. So we're only going to be using natural ingredients. And so if you're trying to switch over your health and beauty products and your household products to more natural products, this is a great recipe for you to master. I created this recipe about five years ago, shared it on my blog, and it's been pretty popular. It's lots of people are looking for a natural toothpaste alternative. So this recipe really fits the bill and it's really easy to make. So I'm just gonna share that with you. So first of all, you want your coconut oil to be in a kind of a liquid state. So if your house is cold, you might've noticed if you use coconut oil quite a bit, your coconut oil will usually solidify so for the recipe, just to get all the ingredients blended nicely together, you're going to want your coconut oil to be softened. So you can do it in a microwave. I prefer to use a little saucepan. And so what I've done over here, I have a saucepan with just a little glass bowl. So it kind of made a um, double boiler type of effect. And it doesn't take much to melt the coconut oil. So I have my coconut oil all melted. And it doesn't have to be perfectly liquid for this, but it's kind of helpful if it is. Have your coconut oil and it's just gonna be half a cup of coconut oil. And then two to four tablespoons of baking soda, it just depends on how much you want. I'm actually using a fourth of a cup here. So, and I like to use a fork to mix this. So I'm just gonna add the baking soda to the coconut oil and mix it together. And then you're gonna put one tablespoon of xylitol. And if you're very familiar with the xylitol, you might have heard that it's often recommended for dental health. You know, often they'll put xylitol in gum and you can, so I know some people don't like to use xylitol, you can substitute stevia, but, and that would just be for flavor. If you add xylitol to your recipe, you're getting a sweet flavor but you're also helping to combat tooth decay because xylitol is supposed to be good for teeth. So it's up to you. I prefer to use xylitol. So I'm just going to put a tablespoon of xylitol in here. It's what I like to use. So you're just going to get it all nicely mixed up and then 15 to 20 drops of peppermint essential oil. So that's going to take a little bit to count that. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. So maybe I'll put a couple more. So around 15 to 20, it's not an exact amount. And then just blend it up. And then you may want a spoon for this, but I'm just gonna see if it will pour. You're just gonna pour it into a little glass jar. and then you're just gonna let it cool and that's all you do and you're gonna want to store it with a lid and as i mentioned since coconut oil does tend to become a solid when it's cool and our house is pretty cool right now because it's winter it shouldn't be too long before this starts to solidify if you want to speed up the process you can put it in the refrigerator and it will harden so to use the toothpaste you can either dip your toothbrush in the paste, or if you prefer, you can use a little spoon and get some out and put it on your toothbrush. Also, you know, if you've ever done oil pulling or if you're familiar with coconut oil at all, lots of people are concerned about using it with a septic system. Some people have questioned whether, you know, this is okay to brush your teeth with and then spit in the sink. If you're concerned about your septic, you can, I've heard it done several different ways. You can spit it in a trash can, you know, lined with a grocery bag, you know, plastic bag or something. Or you could get a jar and spit into that. I know of people that do that. Or you can just try it in your sink and see what happens. So it's up to you. I just use a tiny bit at a time. I just go ahead and spit it in the sink. And we use coconut oil for cooking, so I 
reason that we also have coconut oil residue on our pans and saucepans and things and that's going down our sink we haven't had any trouble with it like i said i made this recipe five years ago and it hasn't caused a problem and i enjoy using it so that's how to make your own homemade natural toothpaste it's very simple and it's all natural ingredients that's it just let it get hard and you're done so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe i make new videos every week and i'd love for you to join me as we create a simple natural handmade home